Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you how I clean out my junk drawers. I'm going through a phase where I want no clutter, no junk, no extra. Maybe it's a con Marie, I don't know. I just want everything in my house to have a purpose so I can value it and I can find what I need quickly. So that is what I'm gonna be doing with you guys. No more junk drawers organizing every room in my entire house. So I'm gonna start in the kitchen because that is where the junk drawers usually accumulate and I'm gonna get rid of it. And it feels so good. I have cleaned out so many rooms already that I have filmed. So make sure you subscribe and like this video so you can see all of the videos in the series of where I'm cleaning everything, organizing everything. So let's get started. So as you can see here, the junk drawer here in the kitchen is full of just random junk. Old pieces of puzzles and Ruby's brushes, fidget spinners and Legos. So I am just going to discard everything that I just don't need and I don't think the kids really need. I got this bin here at Marshall's for $6.99 and I love it. It's very durable. Now I'm going to use the Dyson here to just clean up any of the dirt and crumbs that were in this drawer here before I put the container back in and start organizing. I found Ruby's um, vaccination record and look at this precious picture of her where she was only eight weeks old. I'm also going to put some of my pressure cooker manuals and things like that behind this bin here just to kind of have it tucked away. The more I started thinking about it, I'm thinking I could condense everything into one. So I'm moving on to this drawer for now. This is an old rainbow loom case that I am using for batteries. But as you can see, it needs to be emptied out and we need to start over. So I'm gonna go through the same process and clean out the drawer completely and just get rid of anything that I do not need. My plan is to line all of the drawers with contact paper. Um, I plan on painting my cabinets and drawers, but I had not purchased the contact paper when I filmed this video. I purchased it the next day, so you will see it at the end where I show an updated picture with the contact paper intact. This container actually worked out very well for the batteries and also some chargers for their drones and their cars. And now I'm gonna get started on this bin here where I have all the kids' school supplies and craft supplies. This bin I think my mom got from Home Goods, and it has been so awesome for all their stuff. Since I pulled out a lot of pens and pencils from the junk drawers, it kind of led me to this, um, to organize this little carrier. So that is why I went ahead and started it and there was so much junk in here. If you're anything like me, when you start a project and you have to go into another room, somehow you are in that room and you start organizing that room. And that is kind of what happened here. When I started the junk drawers, it led me to the next drawer, to pens and pencils, to the desk, and so on. And here I am having such satisfaction getting rid of all the broken crayons, pens, and pencils. So far so good, I like how I've got it, but I've got to go into the office now or the kids' playroom where my daughter's desk is for homeschool and kind of start going through that and see if I can condense this even more. Thank you. 
So now I'm tackling my daughter's desk. This is also where my son puts his craft supplies and some of his notebooks. I just want to get rid of everything I don't need. I'm going to recycle all of the old notebooks and papers. I found some really precious pictures of Liam and then here's Josiah. They were so cute and so little. So I'm going to go through here and get rid of everything that they don't need. I like to do this process when they're not around so they don't start asking for stuff. I figured that I could actually get all the markers to go into this clear shoe box. You know, you, in my other videos, you've heard me talk about how I've had a ton of these from organizing Legos. These are a lifesaver and they're cheaper at Target and Walmart than they are at the dollar store and more durable. So I put the color free mess in one shoe box and the markers in the other and I am now condensing even more pencils and pens. This store is my daughter's store. I've got all her stuff that she needs. The top drawer has some of my envelopes, business cards, and some accessories for my silhouette machine. On the bottom drawer, I'm going to put some of Liam's things that he uses often, his stickers and paint, his stamps here, crossword puzzles and coloring books. Um, he comes to this desk quite often to color, so I have a little drawer for him. So when I was cleaning out, I was able to save some of these school supplies from the upcoming year. This is the final product. This is what it looks like. Got a little space for fidget spinners, some erasers, rubber bands, glue. And then while I was at it and I had the clear shoe boxes out, I went ahead and organized the game cabinet. Got their card games, their Jenga, Monopoly, some old frames here that I'm not quite ready to get rid of but have some pictures in them. I've taken all the broken pieces out of all the games and got rid of what we don't need. This is really good, especially summertime. They can come and get what they need. I've got all the markers here, mess-free coloring, puzzles, and Play-Doh. Now here's the final product of the junk drawer that I did. I'm really loving it. I've got my chip clips here. I've got keys down here in a checkbook. I've got Ruby's brushes over here, as well as some calculators when the kids need them. I've got my little pink drill. Yes, I do have a pink drill and all the bits with it. I love it. It's my favorite thing. And then I got flashlights and a battery charger. I wanted to line the bottom with contact paper and I hadn't had it, but here is a picture of it all done. I was able to utilize this space and put the old rainbow loom container in it and with batteries. I cleaned out the drawer right next to it because hey, I was here, I might as well just do it. And I put my oven mitts on this side. I'm gonna line this with contact paper as well. And then I took the other storage container, I guess you would call it, and I put it over here. So I just wanted to show it to y'all real quick. I love it, I love the way it turned out. I'm gonna be organizing every drawer in my kitchen, but I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it encouraged you and motivated you to clean out your junk drawers in your house and have purpose for everything that you have going on. And it also makes life so much easier because you can find what you need because there's no more clutter. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I will be posting more and more videos in this series. So make sure you stick around, click that notification bell so you're the first ones to be notified when I upload a video. Also like this video and let me know in the comments below what you guys like to see and what drawers you cleaned out. I will see you and talk to you soon. Bye.